A man knocked on my door this morning asking for donations for the local swimming pool. I don't know why he looked surprised when I gave him a glass of water. <laughs> That one were from Graham on Discord, and don't forget, comment your jokes down below, because I know they're getting pretty bad. Right, so hello again everybody, and welcome back. Right, so in this video, it's a little bit different, and what we're going to do, we're going to show you how you can change the button functions on your remote, for your Android TV box, your Nvidia Shield, it works on that as well, and Xiaomi Mi boxes. And what you can do, you can change the functions of what the buttons do, but you can also add functions, so one button does more making it super easy to navigate and a lot quicker to launch apps. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I am going to be showing you on two different devices. I've not found one that works on Fire Stick as of yet, but I will keep looking and when I do find one, I will link it down below or I will do a new video of just Fire Stick. Right. So, we're just going to use a shitty Android box to start, and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using one of my favourite remotes, which is the Wii Chip. I'll leave this in a link in the description down below if you want to have a look at it, and what it does, it gives you a mouse function with an air mouse and things like that. And then we're also going to be showing you on the Nvidia Shield how to change the button functions on here, and if you want to customise such as a Netflix button to something else, you can. Right, so it's, it's not going to be a long video, I'm going to fly through it pretty quick, I'm not going to lie, I've just got out at camera as well. <laughs> so, just a demonstration of a button I do want to change on here, if I go to my apps, if I click on the back button, it doesn't work. Which is a huge pain in the ass. And then to top it off, if you are buying the new Wii Chip remote, it's not even got a home button to get back. So I do have to click the home button for that. So if you have purchased one of these remotes, you will be able to change a button to a home button as well. Right then, so this one is in file linked. So if I launch file linked, if you haven't already got file linked, go onto my YouTube channel, I'll show you how to install it onto Android boxes, Android TV boxes and things like that. It's also on my website, letscrackon.org. You can go to the download section, and it's near the top. And it's called Button Mapper. So 56001333 is the code that we're going to enter inside. File linked. <sighs> lungs are good, aren't they? The lungs. <laughs> so I'm going to click on Dismiss, and I'm going to scroll all the way down. And once I get to the bottom, what you are going to see is you're going to see it says Button Mapper. It's going to click on that, click Dismiss, Wait for that green bar to get to the top, click the play button to download and install, and simply click install. And once button mapper is finished, we can click on done if you like, and when we go back home, and another way you can find apps that you've downloaded if you can't find them or you haven't installed them, you can go to my apps, file manager, local memory, and then go down to download and you will see all your downloads inside there, and when you click on them it lets you install the apps. But we've got it from file link, so it is installed, ready to go. So if I go to my apps, you're going to see you've got Button Mapper. It's a bit fiddly because this is like the Android phone version. It's like uh, it doesn't function the best in the world, so you're going to have to use the mouse function as well, which is on your remote. So it's going to ask you to open the settings. And when you open the settings, what you need to do is go to Button Mapper, as you can see there, and click on it. And then you're going to see the slider. And then once you've done that, you can go down and click OK, and now you've given it access, you've given it permissions. And it looks like it's a nice app, it's clean, it's easy to use, so if we scroll down, you can see a couple are locked in there, and the back button is one of them. But we're going to change the function of the back button, because as you can see, once again, I'll start clicking it, and it's not doing anything, and honestly, it just becomes a ball ache that you have to click the home button to go anywhere. So if I go down to add buttons... And then you're going to see at the bottom right hand corner there's a plus symbol, if I click on that, I've clicked the mouse button to turn it off but it's actually registered that button, but if I click the back button, you're going to see it's called Escape 111. And then all we're going to do is click on where it says Add, and now you can see we've got Escape 111 there, we can click on that, you're going to click on No Thanks, Customise, and then you can give it three different functions. So a single tap function, you can get a function where you double tap the button and long press. So if I go to single tap, and I want the function to be that it goes back because the back button hasn't been working. And once I've done that, 
I'm going to try it now, watch it not work. <laughs> Click on back. And now you can see it actually functions like that. So now if I go to the plus symbol again, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the menu button. And it says menu 82. Click on add. And now what I want to do with this one, I want it to launch an application. So if I go in customize, I obviously don't want to change the simple um, single tap function because that already works how I want it to. But I'm going to go to the long press function. And now I'm going to go to actions at the top. Click on applications. And I don't know what you want it to launch. You can have it to launch anything you want. So if I say I want it to launch Netflix. So now I'm going to go back. And as you can see, it's going back. The back button is working. And now I'm going to long press the menu button. So the three line button. And it just starts it up. It's now added a function from long pressing a button. And I think it's awesome. It's so actually Technoctor UK I first saw this app from. He's really good at finding like apps that we wouldn't usually look for. And it's, it's, it's decent, isn't it? <laughs> right, so if you are using a normal Android box and you're finding a button isn't working on a Bluetooth remote or a USB remote, or you want to add functions to the current remote that come with the box, that's how to do it. I don't want to go through too many functions because it gets boring. It's all the same process. Have a play with it and comment down below if you have any problems or if you find out any different features inside there that I haven't shown that are pretty cool. Another thing to note as well, now we're going to jump over to an NVIDIA Shield and the app is actually designed for Android TV. I know on that Android box we were having to use a mouse, but this one, it's all, it works fine. It navigates everything normally with the normal remote. You don't need a mouse for this one. So let's jump over to the NVIDIA Shield and show you how to do it on there. Change the Netflix button to a YouTube button if you like. You can change out what you want as you've just seen. Let's, let's crack on it. <laughs> right then, so this is on the NVIDIA Shield Black Dildo version. I'm just, I've just got to wipe it because DJ Steve won the competition. I've got to send this out tonight. So Steve, if you are watching, I'll be sending this out today. And it's really, really easy when you're using something with an Android TV. So the NVIDIA Shield or the Xiaomi Mi S box. And all we've got to do is go to the Google Store. And once we're here, obviously we know this store is purely for Android TV apps only. So every app on here is going to navigate as we'd expect. And I'm going to use the search function because I think my English has got a lot better since I've started doing videos. You can just search it in the top left. Button Mapper. And there you go, it's as easy as that, that's what it's called. So if I click on there, click install, get a couple of moments. Now I'm going to go back home, and when I open the app, I'll add it to the home so it's a bit easier to find. When I open it, you're going to find it comes up like this, and we're going to go and click OK. But you're going to find everything's greyed out, you can't click on anything. So we've got to go back home, go to the settings in the top right hand corner, click on device preferences, and now scroll down until it says accessibility. And once you've clicked on that, you're going to see button mapper at the bottom. So we'll click on that and we'll enable. I don't know what I've just said. That I do apologise. <laughs> so we're going to click OK. And now it launches button mapper. If it doesn't launch it, simply go and click back on the app. And now you can see everything's gone white. Once again, the back button and the menu button are both locked. But what you can do, you can click on it. No thanks. So you can't change the functions of those two buttons. But what you can do is click on add buttons and that's the menu button. So that's the three line button at the top there. So if I click on that add buttons, I'm going to click it. It's now button 176. So that's the menu button that had a lock symbol next to it we couldn't click on. And when I click on that, I'm going to click no thanks. And I'm going to give it a long press function. So the long press function I'm going to set as Netflix and click on back. I'm now going to change the function of the Netflix button. So if I click on add buttons, click the Netflix button, that's button 199. So if I click on that, click no thanks, customize, and I'm going to change the single tap function so it gets rid of Netflix altogether if you would want to. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to set this one to YouTube. And then the long press, we could even set that one to Netflix if you still want to have that button, but you, you don't use it as much. So now when I go back home, we've got the three line button, so if you long press on that, 
You're now going to see it launches Netflix. Like we said, we want the long press function to launch Netflix and it's done that, making it super easy. But now, when we click on the Netflix button, it should launch YouTube. See, it's awesome. You can launch apps with this, anything you want. So if you like using third-party apps and things, you can even launch them through it. And then we also changed the function for long press on the Netflix button. And then you're going to see that launches Netflix. So now that's just a way for you to be able to make them start working or change them to buttons that you prefer and add, you could add long press to almost every button on your remote, making it just awesome really, couldn't you? But the video might not apply to you. I just get a lot of messages about the USB remotes in particular that the back button doesn't work. And as you can see, that's how you can fix it on a normal Android box. And if you want to add different functions to your remotes, there you go, ding dang do I think it's awesome. And I also think it's really easy to use. So if the video did help you, hit that like button. Don't usually ask that, do I? It sounds a bit weird. Hit that like button, please. But... It, it lets me know that it's helped you, doesn't it, I suppose, as well. Right, I'm going now. Like I say, hopefully, you figured that shit out, and now you're buzzing. <laughs> right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. Tara, Down below, I'll make a new video for Fire Stick in general. In general, I don't think that's the right word. But it might not reply to a lot of you, I'm not sure. It's just a question that we do have a lot that the back button don't work. Don't work, the back button don't work. <laughs>